hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is alima if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to sew in your twist to make braided wig so in this video you'll be needing your needle and thread yes you'll be needing your closure or frontal in this video i'll be using my closure which i bleached in my previous video you would also be needing these wig cabs i love these colorful ones because they pin down so well then you'll be needing wig cap yes so i'm just showing you guys how i pinned the wig the wig cap to the mannequin so as to keep it very firm and ready to use the next thing you'll be needing and the most important thing is your twisted braids yes i actually twisted these around my window so as to give me the um the exact size and shape that i need so i'll be sewing all of this one by one on this wig cap so if you're interested in this video please do keep watching Hola. so the first thing i'll be doing is to pin down this closure on the cap make sure it is in the center yes in the middle of the head so you don't have to like move be moving into the center every now and then make sure you have a pin in the middle of the cap because that's where you're going to sew it in on yes so that's what i'll be doing now <laughs> actually not that difficult just make sure you use your weak pin to pin it down so that you don't miss where the middle is no, I'm just going to weave in okay so it's time for me to sew in make sure you sew in perfectly to you know to um, keep hold of the closure on the cap because if you don't sew it in where well, you don't lock in the sewing if you don't lock in the sewing the um, the closure would not last on the cap and you would start seeing it tear off you don't want to do that so you have to lock in your sewing very well so i just finished sewing everything right now okay so it's time for me to cut the what's it called the underneath of the closure to give it that natural feel but you have to be careful when you're cutting this extra cloth because you don't want to cut so close to the sewing that you've made so you don't open up the knot very careful very very careful and this closure is very tiny so you have to be extra careful as you can see i left in some clothes by the side because i don't want it to get so close to the knot so it doesn't loosen up anytime soon because again the more you wear it the more it expands so you don't want to you know you don't want to allow it to loosen up <clears throat> okay so there we have it pin it down baby pin it down mm -hmm. you have to stretch it because ordinarily, if you're going to wear it, this is how it's actually going to be on your head. Okay. 
now it's time to sew in these twisted braids okay so there are about two ways in which you can sew this in you can either do sew it in from underneath the cap or sew it in on the cap the first one i actually did i did the i did the sewing on top of the cap and i didn't really like it so i'm going to be sewing underneath the cap in this one as you can see i'm passing the thread underneath the cap to sew the braids in on the cap you as you can see you, you are not seeing any sewing except the one i'm using to lock in the braids on the cap so all the sewings are going to be underneath the cap this makes the work very very neat i just not seen any sewing lines everything is underneath the cap spacing the down parts of the of the cap you want to leave considerable spacings because the braids that is going to flow from the upper part of the cap is going to cover most of the down part so you don't want to you don't want to um not the braids so close to each other at the long run it's going to make the s so heavy if everything is just so modeled up you want to give it spacing so the air is going to be very light at the long run you would understand what i'm talking about in the later part of this video As you can see, I'm passing the needle through. I'm passing the needle inside the cap and not on the cap. So you're not seeing any sewing lines at all, except the ones you're using to knot the braids. You're using to lock in the braids on the cap. <laughs> Okay, so i had to do most of it off camera because it took me a lot of time to get here like i've actually um locked in more than a hundred of these um, braids on this air on this week cap so i didn't want to bore you with the whole process so i had to do most of it off camera so now we are here i did the rest of camera like i said so half of the um, closure i did off camera so this is the other part of the closure i'm using this um what's it called now the wax stick just to make the um the closure slick for me to be able to twist it yes yeah, so it enhances the smooth twisting of the air so the braid is very very long <laughs> so i'm just like doing it halfway so i don't get to do everything off car because on camera because it would make this video so long that's the reason why i'm also fast forwarding it so i don't waste you guys i no, not waste i don't take most of your time watching this video and i hope this video has um, been very helpful 
if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so by clicking the um the like button down below and also it's in the subscribe button you can also share this video so i'm done i did every other thing off camera i trimmed did every other thing now it's time for me to put the air in hot water i didn't want to mess up my room so i brought the whole process to my kitchen so i boiled like two pots of hot water then poured everything inside the bucket and dipped the air the whole of it inside it this is actually to smoothen any rough edges that is on the air all the trimmings that that didn't go off as at the time you're trimming the hot water is going to make everything so sleek the hot water is going to make everything so sleek okay now it's time to use my mousse mousse just makes everything very dry very um how would i put it it makes everything so sleek <laughs> i don't know why i'm still i'm using this word but that is what it is it makes it makes the air old it makes it very very sleek and very strandy yeah okay so after i was done i tried to measure the hair it is about um 48 inches long you can imagine how long it is <laughs> 48 inches wow like wow 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 <laughs> thank you guys